the Aravachi, an Iberian tribe. And we'll just start with your general's options. You have the Noble Cavalry, that is pretty good melee cavalry. It is very heavy, so it's going to help you stop chariots. It has a 53 melee attack, which is pretty decent. Uh, 29 weapon damage, which is which is also pretty decent, but low armor piercing. It has a 15 bonus versus large, a 46 charge bonus, which is pretty decent for melee cavalry. Okay melee defense, okay armor, good health and good morale, and like most barbarian units it isn't disciplined, but it has this expert charge defense. It also has an ability, the wedge, which is an ability that doesn't really see a lot of use in multiplayer at least. It will also encourage units nearby. So this can be a good choice if you need a good solid cavalry unit to go hunt skirmishers or to even charge some enemy infantry on the move. But it is not shock cavalry, it isn't going to do as well as shock cavalry on the charge. Against other cavalry it can be very effective, especially against mid-tier cavalry. And the noble fighters are melee beasts extraordinaire. D they have 41 weapon damage, which is pretty damn good, but low armor piercing. Their melee attack is also high for a barbarian sword unit, but they are one of the, if not the most uh, expensive sword unit in the game. Those in the Galatian Royal Guard are the most expensive. 75 armor, which is kind of decent, and good melee defense, extremely good charge bonus for these guys. Good health and morale, they have the headhunt ability of course, and the courage. So this is... If you want to go for the Noble Cavalry General or the the Noble Fighter General, really depends on what you want to do with your build. For the melee infantry, we have these Iberian Swords, and they are hybrid units in that they can throw Javelins, Soliferums, up to a range of 80. They have five of those Javelins, and they are pretty nifty. They have a good charge bonus for their price, their melee defense is very good for their price, Melee attack and weapon damage is also good for their price. They only have 15 armor, so these guys are going to die in droves to missiles, and they can't stand up to chargers from, from heavy infantry. They are only medium melee infantry, and they really hate getting charged by cavalry. But if you can get these guys into the flanks and rear of the enemy after they have used their soliferums, they can actually get a huge number of kills. And it's not unusual to see these guys get anywhere from 100 to 200 kills if you're able to use them effectively. So these are very effective units. The Iskutari are your main line infantry. Good, good uh, melee attack. Their weapon damage is only 35 with 5 armor piercing. Decent charge bonus, nothing great, good melee defense, decent armor, nothing great. One of the best shields for the uh, Iberian tribes, they block, I think it's 50 or 40 or 50 percent of incoming missiles, so these guys are more durable. The Scutari shield, I think the Scutari shield blocks 50 percent of incoming missiles. So these guys are pretty durable to missile fire, but they aren't disciplined, so that can be a problem if your general dies. We have the painted warriors that scare everyone. That can be pretty useful. They have low armor, very good morale, good melee attack, decent weapon damage, sort of uh, standard weapon damage, very good charge bonus. So these are pretty decent uh, shock infantry. Then you have your guerrilla warriors, and these guys can deploy outside of the deployment zone. So can be used for setting up ambushes, but they are very expensive, low armor, vulnerable to cavalry. And while they are decent in a rear charge and flanking role with their good charge bonus, it's going to be difficult to use these guys to good effect, because if you deploy them too far away, they won't be supported. And we have gone over the mercenary noble fighter, uh, or the noble fighters, so I'm not going to go for those again. Iberian spears, nothing much to say about them, cheap spears. Can be good against cavalry, with their bonus against large, but they will not be able to stand up to charges. The Scutari Spearmen are your best, best spears, and they are very cost-effective spear units. Good uh, bonus versus large, low charge bonus, decent melee defense, good armor, they can take yeah, a lot of missile fire with their uh, Scutari shields, and decent health and morale. Cavalry counter tactics can make these guys shred cavalry in what seems like seconds, and they have a very important ability, the shield screen, that can help them brace against cavalry charges a lot better, and elephant charges as well. In the Missile Infantry Department, you have your Iberian Slingers, which are cheap slingers. Uh, not much to say about them, just your standard cheap slingers. They do have very low armor piercing, only 4. Then you have your Iberian Skirmishers, which are decent skirmishers for their price. Nothing great. Uh, they do have a shield that's going to block, uh, I think it's uh, 20 or 30% of incoming missiles. Not entirely sure, I don't remember at the top of my head. 
but they are decent. And the Balearic Slingers, of course, the best Slingers in the game, 8 shots per minute. They have they have 8 armor piercing damage, and that is extremely good. It's going to help you a lot in taking down enemy enemy skirmishers and also enemy uh, uh, enemy infantry. And they have uh, an armor value of 25 and a shield that blocks incoming missiles as well. So they are going to do well against archers in particular. When we get to the cavalry, things are a bit bleak. They are Beeran cavalry, very fast. They are light melee cavalry, so they are very fast. They have a very good melee attack and weapon damage. But against other cavalry, they will just die. So these guys are best used to running down skirmishers, but if the skirmishers can get off a volley on them, they are in trouble. Still, a frenzy charge into the, into the rear of enemies can do a lot of damage. Then we have the Celtiberian Cavalry, and um, these guys have decent melee attack, okay-ish weapon damage, um, a nice bonus against large, charge bonus is good for their price, and um, they have pretty good health, uh, not very good armor, and decent morale, they also have the Frenzy Charge and the Wedge, so these guys are okay mid-tier cavalry, but they will, lo will lose to a lot of other cavalry units in the game. And then we have the Noble Cavalry, which we went over in the in the general department, and we also have the Cantabrian, Cantabrian Cavalry, which is Javelin Cavalry, that has a high amount of shots per minute, pretty decent morale, and decent health as well, but they don't have any armor to speak of. And in, they have a good melee defense, but their melee attack is low, and their weapon damage isn't something to write home about. But they do have the ability to destroy elephant units, they can harass heavy enemy cavalry units, but you need to keep them away from skirmishers. They can fire while moving and have the parthing shot, and they also have the Cantabrian Circle, which is going to make them harder to hit because they run in a circle, but it's also going to make them a bit harder to catch for, uh, a bit easier to catch for enemy cavalry. So let's look at a few builds here. Which we'll look at the basic rush build, and we'll look at the basic uh, skirmish build, and the basic balanced build. So you, obviously you're not going to really go for a full-on skirmish build with the Arivachi, because then you're getting away from your base of your good melee units. So a rush build might look like, uh, an elite rush build might look like four noble fighters, three Skatari, or maybe four, a painted warrior can also be useful. So my Berian swords are always nice to bring. And when you get to cavalry, you don't really need a lot of cavalry. Um, I know some people like to bring the Noble Cavalry, you c could for example go for a Noble Cavalry General here, let's see, Noble Cavalry General, um, but doing so is going to limit the amount of Mercenary Noble Fighters you can bring, so in that case you could for example bring 4 Mercenary Noble Fighters, you could bring 3 Skatari, 4 Skatari, and it would be nice to bring these painted warriors for their scare effect. But as you can see, the problem with this type of build is that it doesn't really have a lot of units. So if you want more units in this army, you can go for more of your Skutari. That's going to free up funds for more Iberian swords. And if you need to deal with, for example, elephants, it's also going to allow you to bring this uh, Cantabrian cavalry and one unit of spears, for example. Or if you want to use, if you want to have a more more solid spear line, you can take out your Skutari and take, a, take in some Skutari spears and bring a unit of javelins if you're worried about elephants, for example. So this is going to, or actually you don't need this, those javelins because you have the mercenary Iberian swords and then you can bring a unit of, say, unit of Iberian spears in addition to this. So that can be effective, but it can struggle against uh, it can struggle against other elite rushes and Roman builds, depending on how well you use your Iberian skirmishers to skirmish. A more elite type of uh, rush build, if you go for a different general here, if you go for the Noble Fighter General, could look something like this. And then you have the Iberian Swords, and you o also kind of need to bring your a few Skitari at least. Um, you can go for some Skitari Spears. If you figure you are not going to even try to win the, uh, to get into cavalry engagements, you can also go for just two Iberian cavalry, and then you really need to keep them away from skirmish fire and from enemy cavalry, and protect your backlines with more Skitari spearmen, or you can go for more of these Iberian spearmen, but they are risky because with their low morale and their inability to take charges, they can rout fairly quickly. 
So in a more skirmish type of setup, you would want some more cavalry, and but again, it's going to be a fairly risky proposition to go skirmish heavy with the um, with the Aravachi. But if you want to go have really good skirmishing capabilities, you can, for example, let's take out the Iberian cavalry because you don't really need that. Uh, you know, then you need to protect your skirmishers from enemy cavalry. But as you can see, it's going to be fairly challenging to make an effective build that is uh, that is heavy on the skirmishers because it will severely limit your power in the infantry department. And the infantry department is your uh, is your best uh, your best bet is going for the infantry uh, department so when you're trying to make a sort of a skirmish build with the with the Aravachi, you'll find yourself gravitating more towards their base of cost effective infantry and then you're then you're basically going towards rush plus plus a few skirmishers so Balearic slangers can be very useful but bringing too many of them are going to limit your infantry options so more more uh, cost effective and easier to use uh, would be something that approaches balance a bit more closely here so you have to experiment with this to see what what suits your playstyle but this is going to allow you to bring a lot of units some good melee units for a core it's going to allow you to protect your your skirmishers and to go hunting for enemy cavalry and it's also going to allow you to get into the lines of your enemy hopefully to to take out some enemy uh, so many skirmishes there. So that's it for uh, the Arevachi. Very strong melee infantry, but also very expensive, and they do suffer in the cavalry department. Not quite as much as the as the um, as the Lusitani, but still, their top three units in terms of cost effectiveness. I would. I kind of these noble fighters are very good, but in terms of in terms of cost effectiveness, they are just so so expensive. So the Skutari, very good units. The mercenary Balearics, very good, uh, or the Balearic slingers, very good. And the Skutari spearmen are also your very good units. So they can get a lot of kills and be very cost effective. But the Arvachi, not the strongest faction, but they can be a lot of fun to play with. So hopefully f you found this useful in some way, and I'll see you again on the battlefield.